Hey guys, tomorrow is April 22nd, which is Tesla's um, Investor Autonomy Day. <clears throat> we don't exactly know what that's going to be, but it's going to be uh, at least some sort of demonstration of Autopilot's uh, autonomous abilities, uh, however that's developed so far. Um, but there's a lot of chatter on the interwebs, on uh, especially Twitter, about, um, you know, oh, they're going to show full self-driving. No, they're not. They're just going to fake full, full self-driving, all this kind of stuff. So I wanted to do a video just about some of the terms <clears throat> because um, there are five different levels of autonomy that like the uh, national, um, the NHTSA, whatever that stands for, National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration, they've described five, five levels of this uh, new field <clears throat> that nobody's actually accomplished yet. Um, and Tesla, no surprise, uses their own terminology, at least Musk has. So I want to sort of uh, just go over that <clears throat> um, as a context for what we're going to see tomorrow. So the uh, NHTSA, uh, which is a U.S. organization, uh, defines uh, progressive levels of automation in five different ones. A uh, level zero, starting with zero, uh, so actually I guess there's six. So level zero is no automation. Uh, level one is a driver assistance program. Uh, vehicles controlled by the driver, but some driver assist features may be included. So that could be traffic aware cruise control, maybe um, auto lane correct, something like that. Level two, partial automation. Vehicle has combined automated functions like acceleration and steering, so auto steer. But the driver must remain engaged with the driving task and monitor the environment at all times. That's kind of what autopilot has been uh, for the last few years. Level three is, uh, that's uh, so level two is partial automation. Level three, conditional automation. Driver is a necessity, but it is not required to monitor their, the environment. Uh, the driver must be ready to take control of the vehicle at all times uh, with notice. And then level four, high automation. The vehicle is capable of performing all driving functions under certain conditions. The driver may have the option to control the vehicle. And then level five is full automation, uh, where the vehicle can do everything under all conditions and the driver can have the option to control the vehicle. So level five is generally accepted as uh, fully automated uh, driverless, basically, able to be um, operated without a driver. <clears throat> so it gets a little complicated because these levels are describing both like the abilities of the system as well as the responsibility of the driver, what level of responsibility the driver has. And as the capabilities go up, the driver responsibility goes down. Um, and Tesla takes a little bit of a different approach. So they've been using the term um, <clears throat> full self-driving. Most people think of full self-driving as driverless. Musk uses his terms to describe the basic feature categories that apply to full self-driving. So the car will have categories of features to drive itself um, over time. So right now we have uh, Navigate on Autopilot, which operates the vehicle from on-ramp to off-ramp on freeways with interchanges, automatic lane changes. Um, so Musk refers to that as essentially a fully self-driving vehicle, uh, but supervised by a human. So to him, FSD is a category of features, and then once you have those features, um, you increase the reliability. So at first they only work in ideal conditions, and then you get them to work in 95% of conditions, and then 99, and then 99.99999. He calls that the march of nines. So you basically have the capability, and then you increase the reliability, and that increasing reliability is what decreases the necessity of the driver. Um, but the full self-driving features come at the beginning, not at the very end. And a lot of people disagree with me on this, so let me sh let me take you back to the Tesla Q4 um, 2018, so fourth quarter 2018 financial call. And in response to a question, here's what um, Elon Musk had to say about uh, full self-driving and autopilot developments and that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, the next question uh, from Alex is, uh, can you please share an update on full self-driving and Tesla network development? When will customers start to see full self-driving features? What's the best case timeline for Tesla network to go live? Sure. Well, we already have um, we already have full self-driving uh, 
capability on highway. So from highway on ramp to highway exit, including passing cars and uh, going from one high highway interchange to another, full self-driving capability is is there. Uh, in a few weeks, we'll be uh, pushing an update that will um, allow the option of, of removing stalk confirm in in markets where regula regula regulators approve it, which I believe that will be the case in the U.S., for example. And it's really quite sublime if you have stalk confirm off and like the car goes from higher on ramp, passes slower cars, uh, change it, it takes a, takes an interchange and then takes the exit and then comes to a stop after the exit. So that's it's really quite profound to have that experience. Um, then the the next part of full stop driving would really be to um, is, is traffic lights is hard. So stop stop streets are pretty easy because um, you can essentially geocode those. Traffic lights and, and intersections would be the next really really tricky one. Um, and then uh, navigating complex parking lots if you're underground in a in a mall parking lot with a lot of traffic and, and pedestrians and that's on multiple levels. You know that that kind of thing is is, is where things get tricky. With the release of, of um, enhanced or advanced summon, uh, you'll see the first indications of the car being able to navigate to complex parking lots. And in, in development mode, uh, the, the car does all of the things that I just mentioned in development mode. So it re recognizes uh, traffic lights and stop signs, and it's really just a question of getting the reliability of, of recognizing traffic lights to several nines. Like, you know, so it's, I guess, like, I don't know, 98% good right now, but we need it to be like 99.999. You know, really extremely reliable. When will we think it's safe for full self driving? It's probably towards the end of this year. Um, and then it's up to regulators to decide uh, when they want to approve that. So there you have it. That's uh, Elon Musk on the Q4 2018 conference call. You can listen to yourself on Tesla's website, um, ir.tesla.com or something, is their investor relations. But anyway, so he's outlining um, their feature approach. Um, is what I'm kind of calling it, where they make the uh, they make a broad categories of these capabilities. You know, okay, it can drive, can do everything it needs to do to drive in ideal conditions on the freeway. And then, what's what's the next thing after getting off the off ramp? Well, intersection. So they got to do uh, stop lights and um, uh, well, traffic lights and uh, stop signs and stuff like that. Make sure it can uh, interact with those. And then um, urban street driving, so that's more pedestrians and crazy markings and stuff like that. That will probably be the last to get reliable, I think. And then as, uh, he also mentioned Enhanced Summon, which has come out, but they're kind of not fully releasing it until um, the, Elon Musk just said recently that they want to refine it a little bit more so that it's even way better when it gets broadly released. Anyway, so he's describing these categories of, of areas, all of which require driver um, vigilance and awareness <clears throat> and which work fairly reliable in ideally conditions but not in other conditions and so as the system uh, develops and gets better as all of those categories will improve 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 in reliability as he calls it the march of nines and then eventually um, the driver then that then that starts pushing out the driver and, and you don't have to have be vigilant all the time you don't have to you know keep your hands on the steering wheel and wiggle it every so often um, and then eventually, with you know, the coast, this, this doesn't even talk about the regulation side of things, but eventually it could just drive itself without a driver. So that's very different than other systems. Um, who knows how much we're going to see of that tomorrow? Uh, it's going to be really interesting. Musk has said a, a number of times that he doesn't think they'll be at full self driving um, reliably until the end of this year. So I don't actually think they're going to demonstrate like all those features like perfectly now or even try to. I think probably going to be more like here's where we are maybe a lot more of the dev stuff like look this is what it can do even though you haven't really seen this behind the scenes so I think they're going to show us a lot but I don't think it's going to be like hey look here's a driverless car because um, that's I could be wrong but that's supposed to be later this year he thinks they have the capability of like it doing everything itself um, and then it being released after that who knows when because that's a regulatory hassle too Anyway, so I hope these comments have been uh, helpful. Um, again, it's it's a lot of terminology because he's he's specifically is using full self driving to refer to different parts of this. 
and it can be very concerning, uh, confusing, but I mean, if you haven't tried out autopilot with nav on autopilot uh, recently, it really does feel like the car is driving itself. It's like making decisions and stuff. You do have to tell it that you're still there, and sometimes it won't make a move until you tell it that it's there, but you're not really approving any of its actions. You're just telling it you're there, and then it says, okay, I'm gonna go. <clears throat> so it really does feel like a preview when you drive on the freeway using nav on autopilot right now. It feels like a preview of the future um, of truly driverless uh, vehicles or at least high level automation. So, all right, uh, stay tuned. Um, my car is uh, optioned out for all the, uh, the full self hardware. I paid for the, um, the FSD upgrade, so I will be doing videos as those features come along. Um, and so it's gonna be an exciting year. Even Musk has said this will be a good year for autopilot, so, and I think he's gonna be right. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, questions, comments, discussion, feel free to put uh, down below. If you like this video, please um, hit the like button, share it with others, and I'll see you guys in the next video.